Um, how should I end this, bro? You're not helping me. You're just staring at me. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm ready now. Are you ready? All right, this, this concludes segment three of our Badger interviews. For more information, log on to uwbadgers.com and tune into the game tomorrow as we take on Baylor. It's seat. That was smooth. Wow. <laughs> the personalities we have on this team are uh, somewhat unique, um, myself included. You know, I, I know I pride myself on being a goofball. Um, I'm not really over serious about much. Um, Sam, same way. You know, Nigel, you can tell by his Nigel Burgundy stuff. Nigel Burgundy here, part three of our Badger interviews. Shelly, what are you doing? Give him a little good night kiss. Your teammate, Nigel Hayes, he, he thinks, you're, thinks the world of you. So um, what do you have to say to that? Oh, man. You know, to have teammates like Nigel Burgundy Hayes uh, instills confidence in me. And uh, I knew I was going to knock it down for the teammates because this is my senior year and I didn't want to keep, I, I didn't want to stop playing. I wanted to keep playing. Nigel's an interesting character, to say the least. Uh, definitely a lot of laughs. And when it came to the uh, Nigel Burgundy thing, he definitely took advantage of his time on camera. Um, but yeah, you know, with, without Nigel, I don't know if, if the team would have been as, as fun and outgoing uh, as it was last year. The best part was just being around each other um, throughout all that. Because you have so many, so many media there, um, you can get caught up a lot. So for us, it was just hanging out with each other, playing ping pong, eating, and uh, just growing. It was, it was a good time. Hey, Seuss! Leonel! No! no. Leonel! No. I think even fans understand the pressure of an NCAA tournament where a couple of bad minutes can knock you out. This team didn't look at it that way. I, I just got, maybe they're great actors, I don't know. But to me, it just looked like they were having a ball, which is a key. Their talent is obvious or became obvious to a lot of fans. I think what they really revealed to people, though, is that it's still basketball, it's still fun, and they had a lot of it. On a beautiful 65 degree day in Southern California, we welcome you to Anaheim, the site for the West Regional Semifinal. Baylor was really good. Like they were really, they were coming off some big wins. I think they had just beat Nebraska like heavily. Baylor with a kind of a glowing uh, look to go with the black unis. They got the light green. Badgers in the home light in the Cardinal trip. It'll be Isaiah Austin, Frank Kaminsky to jump center as we're ready to go. Toss and tap to the Bears. And from our vantage point, Baylor moving to our right. And we are underway in Anaheim. Austin between the rings. Hands off to O'Neal. He'll flip the Cherry out front. Cherry will toss it to O'Neal against Josh Gosser on the right wing. Goes inside. A low on the right, up and in is Corey Jefferson over Kaminsky. 2-0 Baylor here just getting underway. Here's Brush open for three. Too much space. Hayes. Yes, and a foul. Isaiah Austin left of the lane against Decker. Austin into the paint, up with the right hand, blocked by Kaminsky and into the hands of Gosser. Frank Kaminsky with three rejections in this first half. Jackson high screen, Kaminsky three in the air for Jackson. Book it. Trey Jackson with his first points of the night. 37 to 18, Wisconsin. Yeah, I don't know. It was just a different type of atmosphere. It was one of those games where everybody just played well. Everybody was just it was like you couldn't make a mistake that game. I don't know how to explain it. And they were good. Um, so that, that definitely has something to do with the Oregon momentum and, and uh, just riding off of that. I think we did a great job of sticking to our scouting report. You know, we really focused in on trying to limit their uh, offensive rebounds uh, and kind of minimize their length, their ability to use their length and athleticism. We, we enjoyed playing against the zone for a little bit, you know, because we don't really see it in the Big Ten much. Uh, so being able to use our shooters and kind of play inside outside was, was fun for us. From Hayes, another nice pass, they whip it around, thrust for three, yes! What a terrific sequence. Here comes Jackson, whipping by Cherry. Ben on the dribble down the right side, drives right away, goes to the rim, layup, good. Ben Brust 
Just circles left to right, takes it to the cup, 61-40, Wisconsin. The Wisconsin Badgers are headed to the Elite Eight. A convincing performance for Bo Ryan's team tonight. They're still dancing, and they will dance in the Elite Eight on Saturday here in Anaheim. Final score, Wisconsin, 69. Baylor, 52. You stuck to the game plan for the most part. Very first possession, they roll a guy in the post. Right. I mean, it was, and, and we saw it how many times. Right, so that's one possession, but we recovered enough on the other. It's way to take care of the ball. How many turnovers we end up with? A couple of digits. Got a little sloppy with it. Um, we're going to need to take care of it better on Saturday. But guys, we, we earned the right to another quarter. Three Badgers. One, two, three. Badgers. It was awesome, you know. Uh, obviously, being a being a Bears fan, I, I uh, not not as big as fan because uh, he always kills us every year. But you know, you have to have to respect a guy that basically performs at such a high level, and he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league. Uh, and and being able to find out that he's a fan of of ours and he's there supporting us was really cool. They're 18 to 22 years old, and they're enjoying the whole thing. But they also knew what we went out there for. We, we went out there to win two in advance. Um, and you can't do that without winning one. So the first game, we took care of business and probably played as good a game as, uh, as I've ever seen for any of our teams from the standpoint of beating a team like Baylor who had destroyed Creighton the game before. And how do you figure sometimes? So for us to get Baylor and put ourselves in position to play the number one seed is all we wanted. And uh, in, in between earthquakes and everything else in our getting our uh, academics uh, taken care of and the New York Times doing their thing and other papers writing whatever they were writing about. It was great exposure for, uh, for our guys, but that's who they are. That, that's who the, the players, um, that's their personality. So the true personality just came out.